Hey everybody, Tom here with GW and Adventures. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be doing kind of a different style of video. Previously, we've done some fishing videos uh, out on the water, but uh, I was going for some perch up north today. It's the end of December. Uh, we were hoping to find some jumbos up north, um, but it didn't work out that way. I only caught two perch for myself today. Uh, we were out there for like eight hours. Uh, the group caught, I think, 16 total. So pretty slow day. Uh, I was cold as well, minus 16 Celsius. So I didn't really have my phone out much. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my GoPro here either. So I couldn't take that up there. But uh, we're gonna do a different style video today and I'm gonna go through my four favorite walleye lures through the ice and uh, I guess you could use them open water as well. I do both with these lures. So uh, I guess we'll get started and we'll start with number one. This is one of the top four favorites. This is a jig and wrap lure. So basically this lure comes in three different types, I guess you could say. So the first one is probably my favorite, well, tied with, tied with this one for my favorite, but it's kind of the minnow style presentation, jig and wrap. Uh, great bait, very heavy, so it gets down to the bottom very fast. Um, it's got nice motion, it flutters kind of back and forth when you're using it. So I, I really like that aspect of the bait. Uh, the second type is this one. Um, this is an Acme Hyper Rattle, I believe. And uh, that's a great bait as well. It's super heavy, super dense, so it really gets to the bottom fast and you can really get some good movement out of it side to side. I find when you have a really aggressive bite, uh, the walleyes come in and just smack it. Um, this work, these ones work very well, open water and during the ice season. It's one of my favorite ice fishing baits. So uh, yeah, very awesome bait. I really like these ones. So uh, we'll move on to number two and that is the jigging spoon. So these baits are also very versatile. Um, they come in many different shapes and sizes. I think this one right here, I think this is a Swedish pimple type of bait. I don't know if that's exactly what it is, but they work extremely well. I've had awesome success on them through the ice, especially, I don't really use these things in the summer very often. Um, this is also a really good one. I really like these. Uh, they seem to work very well. Um, the PK lures, they make some great jigging spoons. I've got a fluorescent one that I caught uh, that big bourbon in, in my last video, if you've seen that. Um, but yeah, all around, these are great baits to have in your tackle box. I would highly recommend having at least one or two of these varieties in. Uh, they make a pretty good difference, I find, during the ice season. And then number three is the uh, jigging rapal, I guess, or the shad, shad wraps. These what, that's what these are. But basically they're just a uh, Rapala crankbait. Um, these ones are fairly small. As you can see with my thumb beside it, they're only about an inch and a half, two inches long. Um, I prefer the smaller sizes when I'm targeting walleye, especially through the ice, as I don't really use these ones during the summer too much. I find the pike seem to get them more than the walleye do. And they don't really get down deep where the walleye usually hang out in the summer. So maybe in the early spring or, or late fall, they be decent for walleye but I find that through the ice they're better um, as far as like so, like types and sizes go um, this one's made by Rapala uh, it seems to work very well I've had awesome luck with that color um, most of the natural forage in this in my lake my home lake that I fish are uh, tend to be kind of silvery that kind of color um, they work super well I have had some success on this one it's also a new bait, so it doesn't have any nicks or scratches on it, but I do have an older one that I've had success on in the past. So uh, yeah, that's number four, or number three, sorry. And uh, we'll move on to number four, which is my all time favorite walleye bait through the ice and, and open water in the summer. And that is the plain jig and a minnow, or a leech, um, or a night crawler by, by that matter. But uh, yeah, jig and minnow by far, I've caught the most of any any walleye, uh, probably any pike as well. I've caught tons of pike on, on just a jig and a minnow, especially in the winter. But uh, yeah, any type of jig seems to work. This is a short shank. Um, I prefer these in the summer uh, using a piece of night crawler or a leech. I find, that especially floating beneath a uh, slip bobber. And these ones are really nice. I forget who makes these ones, but they've got a little, a little notch for a, a trailer hook too. 
a little stinger that you can hang off the bottom to attach a minnow to as well if you want or a night crawler or whatever. But uh, yeah, jigging a minnow by far my favorite bait to use in the winter or in the summer. So uh, uh, yeah, but I guess I'll show you my tackle boxes set up here. I just finished organizing, so I might as well show it off a little bit. But here's my walleye box. Uh, there's my jigging spoons, my, all my plastics, uh, swim baits, different jigs and uh, jigging wraps, crankbaits, deep divers, all sorts of stuff in here. Lots of jig heads. So uh, yeah, that box is pretty much set up. I could probably use some more crankbaits. That's one thing that I might be shopping for in the future. Um, here's my pike box. So as you can see, I'm a big fan of spoons. I really like casting spoons in the summer uh, and in the winter, they also work well through the ice. Um, yeah, different crankbaits, crankbaits there, crankbaits there, swim baits. These ones work awesome. I've had awesome success on these in the summer uh, for pike, but yeah, that's my setup. So uh, yeah, that's kind of, so yeah, that's my setup. And I guess that concludes this video. So hopefully in the next couple days here, I'm over Christmas break right now. So I've got lots of time to make some videos just like this one. I'm hoping to get some more uh, info videos out as well, um, mixed in with some fishing videos to keep you guys entertained. But please, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, check out our other videos, uh, check out our Instagram account. It's GWN underscore adventures, I believe. Uh, go check it out. We've got some good stuff on there. There's gonna be lots coming down the pipe for you guys this winter and coming into next spring So stay tuned and uh, yeah, we got some big things coming